What's going on? This is Tyler Dops, uh, and this is how I produced. What's the song called? Crossfaded? Jesus Christ. Said she don't get crossfaded. But that's how I did. Put in my intentions. Ain't no way to best on all the stuff. I'm saying, like, it just sounds like money. You know, it just sounds good. First sound that I had was I got a loop from the homie Sam Wish. It's like a guitar vocal type loop. So I threw this on there. This is the guitar. And, and then he had this little he had this little vocal thing too. And that's like the basis of the beat, really. We listen to this shit a million fucking times. I don't know if it's good or not. It's just noise, but I'm pretty sure it slaps. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it had like a good emotion to it. And from there, it was just a matter of putting drums on it and getting the pocket of it right. You know me, I'm emotional. Yeah, we're pretty emotional over here. Started with the clap. That sounded, pause that. <laughs> Started the beat with chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking clap. It goes where the clap goes. The next thing was a hi hat, which is equally as predictable. Predictability sells, baby. Right. And I'm in the business of selling. Hi hat. Keep the keep the bounce up. Probably the most important drum in this song. It's not really a drum, but it's the 808. Had to had to knock correctly. Had to do the chord progression justice. You know, that's what you shake your booty to. That's um, right, Daddy. So I'll play. <laughs> I feel like with this song, the whole point of it was that like the, the writing is kind of the, the focus. The melody is really the focus of the song, like Travis is writing. So I was trying to not do too much and like just kind of stay out of the way and let him um, sound really and sad let me drop dick on that motherfucking instrumental that's you yeah know. i really want to just give him a place to pull his dick out you know yes sir little joints mm. you know what that sounds like yes sir it sounds like money sounds like money then there's this little vocal thing mm. Ooh. shit makes me want to cry i didn't even know i was in there yeah neither did i I'm learning right now, along with the viewer. Let me, uh, let me put a turtleneck on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bet, yeah. I didn't have anything to do with it. Tyler did pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> Made me look really good. Um, what's up, everybody? This is Sam Wish, uh, co-producer on the song Crossfaded. Uh, originally sort of made the loop, I think. It was in 2018, but he uh, chopped it up and changed the chords around and did an absolutely magnificent job, you know, producing it into the wonderful and beautiful and groundbreaking and earth-shattering track that it is. Um, it's a guitar mainly and uh, some pitched up vocals that I sang. Just an afternoon of experimentation as things usually are. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yes, sir. And that's a beat. That's a beat. I'm, yeah, I wish I could say it was, uh, Harder than it was, but it was fucking easy because I'm a genius. It's fast, dog. My friend's girl said she was at my house and she was like, um, "Oh, I can't get crossfaded. Oh, I don't get crossfaded. I don't do something." And then I, I was like, "Shit, that's how I live." I was like, <laughs> I made a joke like, "That's how I fucking. Ex that I'm always crossfaded." You know what I'm saying Cause that's where most of the hooks come from. Is just something happens in life, and I'm like, "That's hard. like I said some sad shit," and I was like, "Oh, that's a hook, though." You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, I knew this song was special from the moment that Travis recorded it. You know, the melody of it, the emotional content of it, I, I knew it came from like a very real place. And I think that every time I've played it for other people, like they, they feel the same way. It's just those certain moments when an artist can tap into like their fucking like essence or whatever and, and, and pull out something that's like super real. And that's it. You know? <sighs> the beat is finished i get the fuck out of the room most of the time and i holler my man jordan back here i'm jordan santana i'm travis thompson's main engineer and i'm gonna show you how we recorded crossfaded after tyler produced the song he sends me the stems and we throw it into pro tools as you see here looks pretty cool right shut the fuck up <laughs> so crossfaded was like 
kind of a last minute thing. I was not playing. I remember Trap texting me saying we have to get into the studio. I was playing Warzone and I was really mad because I had to leave, but you know, it's whatever. But when them ideas hit, baby, they hit. You gotta, you gotta hop off. You ain't getting no fucking dubs anyway. He's not getting dubs. So when we're about to record, Trav gets in the booth pretty high. He's vibing, you know, he's on a, he's on a good one. And um, he gets in, uh, you know, I'll start recording and he'll, you know, start spinning for like 10 minutes. And by the time we're ready to record, it's really hot in the booth and he's annoyed. So, uh, you know, when we start, you know, he's in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact, that's, that's a fact. That's usually how it ends. We play the shit and then me and Jordan stand up and gig and Tyler would just stand there. So yeah, that's how it looks. Cross fade it out now, bitch. Said she don't get cross faded, but that's how I exist. Part of my intentions, ain't no ways the best I know I lost, baby. But that's how I exist. Another, Give me your keys, bro. We had an alternate version of the song actually that isn't. It might be on like the deluxe, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I cooked up another version with Jordan. It's like a lot of like live instrumentation. Yeah, um, it's, it's just a good. Tell about it. Tell she don't get cross, baby. But that's how I did. Part of my bitches, they don't wait the best on all the guys, baby.